I'm a professor Ole Grammer from Denmark, working at Southern University in Denmark. So I'm working a lot with cryoablation, mainly renal tumors. I've done roughly around 500 cases myself around this time. Um, so I'm just happy doing proctoring around the world and this time we're in South Africa. Yeah. So today we're in Durban, a nice place, nice hospital here and I'm assisting uh, the team down here uh, preceding uh, two cases, uh, two cases, uh, tumors uh, in, uh, in kidneys, uh, both roughly around three centimeters. It's not that difficult cases but it's gonna be a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of fun um, to see the, the, the team work and I'm excited to be here to, to see them perform this procedure. I'm Eleanor Yubad. I work for Boston Scientific in South Africa. I'm the clinical specialist on cryoablation. So the smart glasses have numerous functions, one of them being enabling physicians to do proctoring, which means one of the doctors can be in the procedure whilst another can be remote and offer them guidance or help them through the procedure and discuss the case as they go along. They also have recording capabilities, which means they can record their cases and they can also always review them at a later time or use them in any workshop or presentations. Hi, my name is Gareth Bardawal. I'm a radiologist here at Lake Smith and Partners in Durban. Um, I'm part of the intervention radiology team. With intervention radiology, it's not just about the, the doctor involved or, or myself. There's always a team involved. Uh, in our case, we've got the, on the radiography side, um, the ladies there will be helping us with the actual imaging, the CT scanning, and, and producing the, you know, the imaging for us to do the procedure. Then we've got uh, nursing support. We've got Sister Tracy and um, Sister Juliet. They will be assisting us directly with the actual case and they help us with all the preparation and all the behind the scenes work in getting the procedure booked and um, getting all the logistics sorted out. And then we've got industry support from uh, Boston Scientific who are bringing in cryoblation. In fact, this is the first time this product will be used in South Africa. It has been used in the setting of breast cancer, but this is the first time the cryoblation has been used for anything other than that. And in terms of the um, scientific literature, cryoblation is, is, is being um, accepted as the, the best treatment as far as ablation goes for kidney cancer, as well as a few other examples. So we're very excited to be to introducing this in the South African setting. So today we are doing um, percutaneous cryoablation of two kidney tumors, two separate patients. Um, basically these, these are patients who um, who have got small tumors in uh, one of their kidneys. Uh, both of them have got other medical problems. So in traditionally the treatment for kidney cancer is, if it's caught early enough, is, is surgery. But in patients who've got other medical problems, removing a kidney or, or half of a kidney can lead to a significant deterioration in the health so this procedure we're doing basically treats the small tumors with, and preserves the rest of the kidney. It's really um, we're a procedure where we position a small needle or needles within the tumor and then in this case we're using um, uh, cold or, or we're freezing, it's called cryoablation and, and basically by freezing around the tumor we destroy the tumor and a small amount of the, the, the kidney surrounding the tumor uh, and that obviously controls the situation and, um, and leaves the rest of the kidney healthy. Um, at the end of the day, this is offering a minimally invasive alternative uh, for patients with kidney cancer.